Uh, my next question is for uh, Dr. Smith. Um, I was wondering where, I'll, I think you said earlier that this might be unprecedented, um, this approach to um, having TSAs be, you know, all of the teaching jobs. So I guess maybe that answers my question, but my question originally was um, where else has it worked? And um, how exactly will the district determine in the next year or a few years whether it is working? And um, the last part of that is if it is deemed to be a success, will the district consider using taking that same approach um, at other schools? So first of all, this is a, a three-year commitment and the ability for us to stay committed and invest in these schools uh, over the next three years, there's, there's no sense that we're gonna say everybody has to reapply every year. And in fact, just to name again that these schools, uh, Fremont and Castlemont, were going from three to one school. So there's gonna be a process already where staff was gonna be moving into new positions. And I also wanna just clarify that all these teachers uh, have jobs, unless there are consolidations in the sense of there's too few students in the district over time in the, in the fall. But right now, there's no uh, move to move any of these teachers out. So that's uh, just this clarification about getting rid of somebody. This is not a getting rid of strategy. This is an investment strategy, and for three years. So the, the part about extending time, I mean, there's tremendous research across the country about the benefits of extending time. And what you do with that time, if you just extend the time and do the same kind of stuff, uh, the benefits aren't, the, aren't very good. But if you extend the time and you collaborate, you have teachers actually sharing data about what kids are doing and what they need, about having um, opportunities for teachers to say, hey, I need some additional coaching on this, or I don't actually know what the industry is doing in this world. And so we've talked about link learning in these academies. So in the Career Partnership Academies, having time for staff to go both visit other schools, but also to go work in industry and do externships, uh, there's tremendous data uh, on the benefit of that kind of time. Uh, there's also data specifically tied to student outcomes. So students who are participating in uh, career-based, theme-based pathways do far better than students across the board in, quote, the traditional or comprehensive high school. So there's more data out there on extending time and the benefits of, quote, link learning. Um, and I did not, like, we're not trying to make the case with data. And I haven't like put out a, a brief on all the, all the ways that this is the right choice. However, definitely did our research, definitely have talked to people, and there are um, folks in this district that have made choices to extend time um, in the sense of schools have done this. There are schools inside of Oakland now already that have chosen to extend their work time. Uh, they're working on Saturdays, they're collaborating. So, so many of these things that we've heard from staff that are getting results from kids, uh, we are helping to support that, I think, with this, uh, with this time and this investment. So the other part, really, is what do we do over time? So right now, we've got some schools that were in district public schools that decided to go charter. So we created now what's called this partner set of partnership schools. There, we've been approached by other in-district schools that want to do the same thing. Um, because they want to be able to organize their time the way they want to organize their time. Uh, I think we are at a moment in Oakland where there are adults in school buildings that are saying, we want to figure out the best way to meet the needs of the kids in our schools. And I think as a Oakland Unified School District, our job is to figure out how to support that to the maximum degree possible. Uh, and that's why I keep coming back to this, I, this, I, I can't, say it enough times. We, are, we have a structurally balanced budget in Oakland, which means that we can actually make really prioritized program-based decisions for the first time. We know how much money we have, we know how much revenue we're getting, and we can make these choices. The board said we need to prioritize high school, and in particular McClyman's, and we have the resources that we're putting to it. Um, I, I think this is gonna be a commitment to our schools and to our teachers and to our kids for the long haul. Um, so I don't see us suddenly taking back or stopping this strategy. This is, in fact, uh, an investment for 
the foreseeable future. And for our staff, um, and then this is where we get in the conversation about bargaining. Because right now, I did follow the contract, and we don't have to bargain what's existing in the contract already. However, to extend that and expand that and to do it for other schools over time, um, and quite frankly, there are schools that have teachers who said, we're doing it, and we didn't seek a waiver. We didn't, we didn't ask our own union for a waiver because we didn't want to have to go through that process. There are teachers, you know, so I, I would just tell you that the debate is not a monolithic set of teachers. It's like we had a lot of folks wrestling with these questions about how to best serve kids. Um, that's why I do think it's a conversation. And some of these things that are, um, that we disagree on, we probably are going to disagree on. But my job is to try to get the best resources we can and put them uh, as close to kids as possible.